Good morning. Welcome to a little bit of hope this morning. It is a beautiful day, although a bit rainy outside. It is gorgeous. Been away uh, on vacation this last week. And that's why I wasn't up online. We ended the week with a time with a family in an Airbnb up in Pulaski, and that was gorgeous. Hated to leave that. Nothing better than waking up in the morning and looking at the lake and hearing the waves crash. And it's only fitting that I look at Psalm 121 as I'm thinking about God's, God's grace and creation and all the blessings that we have. I raise my eyes towards the mountains. Where will my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. God won't let your foot slip. Your protector won't fall asleep on the job. No, Israel's protector never sleeps or rests. The Lord is your protector. The Lord is your shade right beside you. The sun won't strike you during the day, neither will the moon at night. The Lord will protect you from all evil. God will protect your very life. The Lord will protect you on your journeys, whether going or coming, from now until forevermore. And I think about that. And I think about how God has paid attention to every detail. How things interact. It's interesting watching the waves and the waves become closer together as they go up and over a sandy knoll in the water. The micro uh, organisms inside of the soil that cleans. If God is willing to pay so much attention to every detail like that, that God is willing to pay attention to every detail that goes on in us, through us, as a part of us because of God's grace and outpouring of love that will go the distance plus for each and every one of us. And if God knows every hair on our head, even if it's changing color or by chance uh, changing shape, then God won't let our foot slip if we are obedient and reliant, if we allow God to be our protector and not do it ourselves, if we celebrate God, worship God in everything we do and say, then life will be completely different. It's hard, especially when we see all the conflict and chaos that goes on around us Turn on the TV for that one, or look at the news. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank and praise you for this beautiful day you've given to us, and for your great love, a love that is willing to hunt us down, not because you need it, because you want us to have it. Lord, you will be our protector, our healer. You will be everything, if we will let you. Our help comes from you. You will protect us from evil. And Lord, we need that right now. As the culture is changing and shaping our mindsets inside of the church and in everyday life, Lord. We need to be your lighthouse to the world, and Lord, we need your strength to do that. Continue to open our hearts and our minds, Lord, as you bless us and you care for us, as you will change culture itself, if we are open to that. Where does our help come from, Lord? It comes from you. Hear our prayers. Help us to walk with you daily. Read your scripture. Infuse your words in our hearts. Lord, we thank you for 
vacations for times away, but we also thank you, Lord, for returning for ministry, for opportunity. Continue to bless us here in this church and in your churches as a whole, Lord. Fill us. Lord, we need a revival. We need to experience you and worship you in every part of our life and our ministry. Lord, lay your hands upon those in need right now, whether it be food or some struggle. Continue to move in those settings, Lord. Heal these people as you did for those throughout Scripture. Lord, we lift to you those who are grieving today, who have lost a loved one, who struggle in any way, shape, or form. And, Lord, hear us as we say we may not even know or understand what is absolutely best for us, but you do. Guide us, Lord, as a congregation and as your people. Lord, we truly thank you and we praise you. We lift up our government leaders and ask that you guide them. We lift up those with COVID and other illness, certainly heal them. Those that are in surgery as we speak or going before surgery in their recovery, Lord, heal them, Lord. Let your name be professed in every aspect of them, whether it be in the hospitals or elsewhere. Watch over those that we care for, Lord, and those who we will be caring for. For we lift all this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Well, my friends, it is a gorgeous day. I'm looking forward to what's in store. And I know my task list, first day back, is long and distinguished. But that cross behind me is what I'm going to lean into today and every day. And with that, the stuff that needs to get done will get done, and the stuff that doesn't, well, my yoke doesn't have to be heavy. So, my friends, Good morning. Thank you for joining. It's a blessing to spend this time with you again, and we'll be back in sequence, hopefully. Um, I like to say without interruption, but there's a practicality to that. I'll do my best that you know from the last two years. And until we see each other again, any comments, concerns, prayer requests, please leave them in the comments section below. Until we do see each other again, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you be blessed and be a blessing to others. Uh, certainly hope that you can share God's word today, a smile, enjoy God's blessings for all that they are and all that they can be, and share that as well. So my friends, again, good morning. Thank you for joining me, and look forward to the time that we have again in the future. Till then, bye for now. Be safe. God bless you.